Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode of my Hearthstone around Arena there challenge. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. That's a bad head if I ever did see. Alright, this is day seven. Let's give it a go. See what happens. I really want to do good. I think my prediction is now <laughs> so embarrassing. My running total is now one. <laughs> ah, paladin or priest? What did I do last time? Sham no, warlock. Or shaman. Can't remember. Either way. Um let's go with the paladin. I feel good about paladins. I do pretty good paladins. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna really try. I'm gonna get the Kazan Mystic. That's pretty good. Four 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 three, take control of a random enemy secret. You know how much I hate secrets, so holding out of that might be pretty good. Um Blessing of Kings or Spiteful Smith. What is Blessing of Kings? I feel good about that. Um Scarlet Crusader. Ooh, Ironforge Rifleman, Noble Sacrifice, or Elven Archer. I don't really like any of these cards. <laughs> these cards are not the ones I want to do. Um, Ironforge Rifleman, Noble Sacrifice, Elven Archer. I feel like I could get some... Uh, Ironforge Rifleman. Maybe to break like a Divine Shield or something like that. It might be worth it. Um, I think Shattered Sun Cleric. Iron Beak Owl, Iron for Grizzly, and Flesh Eating Ghoul. All pretty decent cards. I don't have any two drops yet, but at the same time, I'm a paladin, so I don't really need them. <sighs> Flesh Eating Ghoul, Iron Beak Owl, Iron for Grizzly. I, mm, I feel like the Flesh Eating Ghoul. In a paladin deck, might be pretty pretty decent. Uh, bomb lobber. Deal four damage to a random enemy minion. Five for three three otherwise. That's not too bad. Sun Fury Protector is good too. Arcane Nullifier is decent, but not that great. That's pretty enticing. Actually, I'm going to do that. Bomb lobber. <laughs> uh, Clockwork Gnome. A spare part card to your death. Eh. <clears throat> if it was a 1 2, I'd be more interested. But 2-1, two, one, uh, two one's not too bad either, actually. And I don't have much early game yet, so let's pick it up. Uh, Scarlet Purifier, probably. 3-4-4-3 three, four, four, three otherwise. Gum Sapper, yeah. Scarlet Purifier. Uh, Azure Drake. Um, Dark Iron Dwarf. I need some early game going on in here. Um, Novice Engineer, River Crocolisk. Or Frost with Warlord, actually. Hmm. I don't have any two drops. River Chronicleisk is okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. Novice Engineer is pretty decent too. It's like my hero power, but I get to draw a card as well. So yeah, let's do that. As a two drop, that's pretty good. A Light Warden, whenever characters healed, gain two attack. Little Exorcist. Three for a two three taunt. Battlecray gained one one for each enemy death rattle minion. That's not too bad, actually. That could be pretty good against a warrior or <clears throat> hunter or something like that. And man addict is gross. Let's take the little exorcist. <laughs> um I'm feeling like the urgent protector. I know I gotta stop picking up threes. Hmm. I kinda don't mind all three of these. Blessing of Might's interesting. Uh, Blessing of Kings is also pretty good. Burly Rockjaw Trog. Rockjaw Trog is pretty good too. Hmm. I feel like. Yeah, it's Blessing of Might might be more versatile for now. Um, I think I prefer the Silver Moon Guardian. Although the Rockjaw Trog is pretty enticing too. I feel like that probably I like Divine Shield, especially in Arena, it can it can pack a pretty decent punch. I feel like the Frost Elemental. Hmm. Cult Master is an enticing choice, but I feel like I've never been able to get it to actually like really work for me. So I'm gonna pick the Salty Dog. Not that it's a great card, but it's uh interesting. Uh pick a Guardian of Kings, although that whatever that card was is pretty good too. Hmm. Let's say Aldor Peacekeeper. Oh, I do have a lot of threes though. Okay, what do I have for threes? Flesh Eating Ghoul, Rifleman, Exorcist, Crusader, Purifier, Purifier Shadow Sun. Yeah, I think the Aldor 
Damn it, I meant to say the Kazan Mystic, or whatever. <laughs> Both good cards. Uh, Vetrico. Huh. Micro Machine is interesting at the start of each turn, so that, can, that ramps up pretty quick. But at the same time, it's a two drop. It only has two life. Razor Fen Hunt, no, Micro Machine. War Golem's kind of garbage. Uh, Hammer of Wrath. Ah, here's a tough one. Lord of the Arenas, in this situation, might not be too bad, because I'm kind of lacking some pretty hefty endgame. Um, I'm not too concerned about two drops. Seal of Light is interesting. Let's go over the Lord of the Arena. I feel like that could be a pretty good drop. Um, yeah, true, true Silver Champion. Gotta take it. Again, I feel like I don't have many good two drops, but... Nah, I probably should go with the Haunted Creeper. Avenge, when one of your friendly minions dies, give your friendly minion plus three plus two. Yeah, I certainly don't need any threes, and Murloc Raider is not so good, so yes, Avenge it is. Hmm, Dark Iron Dwarf. Okay, what do I have for four drops? True Silver Champion, Breastling of Kings, Hammer of Wrath, Dark Iron Dwarf, Kazan Mystic, and so the three minion drops are those. Silverhand Knight's interesting as well. Yeah, let's go with the Silverhand Knight. Ooh, gotta go with the Chow. No doubt about it. Alright, what's this gonna be? Murloc War Leader, 3 for 3 3. Doesn't matter to me. Recombobulator. Transform a friendly minion to a random minion with the same cost. That could be interesting. Probably more useful than the 4 for 4 1 stealth spell damage. Yeah, Recombobulator it is. Worst case scenario, it is a th 2 for 3 2. Alright, this is for the, all the marbles. <laughs> I need to step up my game. I'm going to really do my best to focus. My hair is a mess, my brain is not. Well, it probably is, but what are you going to do? I'm going to need to pick up some more water before the day is done, I think. Hmm. Well, there's my dearth of four drops. I want to keep none of these. <laughs> I'm up against the relaxatorium. Will it be relaxing? Probably not. Hey, there's a two, three, four. Greetings. And four drop for there, too. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of think that that's an interesting... A novice engineer is like my hero power, but I gain draw a card as well. Hmm, what can he drop for two? When your opponent casts a spell, I'll gain plus one attack. Interesting. New weak and bubby later. <laughs> Be interesting to hit that with that. It's probably not really worth it, but whatever. <laughs> what can I do here? Minis attack to one. Is that worth it for something like this? Maybe. <clears throat> oh, he heals it up. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's probably worth saving. Throw down a battle rifleman. He brings it down to two. I can trade into it next turn, unless he heals it up. And then the turn after that, if he still has it, I can hammer of wrath it. <laughs> <clears throat> but chances are he's going to play something else. Oh, maybe not. He could heal it and then face it. Hmm. He is. He's going to heal and then uh, trade. He's kind of gotten value out of it, but at the same time, it's... I don't know. Do you have a death rattle? No, of course not. Um, I think Hammer of Wrath. It almost seems like kind of a waste, but I feel like I've got some other good cards coming up. Adventure Co. Mercenary and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just blast it. Boom! Get a card out of it, too. Yeah, next turn I could do a couple things. <laughs> I'm tempted to Aldor Peacekeeper and then Recombobulator it. That's probably kind of a waste. We'll see what he throws down. That's really a good card, Scarlet Purifier. <clears throat> Ooh! 
Yeah, our little peacekeeper brings that. Oh, wait. Huh. Minion is always equal to its health. I don't think that would do anything. Oh, that's an interesting one. Ooh, I don't know what I could do here. Because... Oh, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's throw the Venture Co. down. Because this could change its attack to one, but I feel like this minion's attack is always equal to its health. I'm curious about it. I'm curious to throw it down and see what happens, but... Oh, yeah, I had to turn. I think it would just... It would go down to one and then immediately go back up to five. That's curious, though. I, I'm curious to see what would happen there. What's the next turn? Assuming he doesn't kill this guy. Mind if I, roll need? Um, I could throw down Argent Protector. That'd be pretty good. Go Blast of the Face. What does the future hold? Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good play. Argent Protector. Yeah. Gives him Divine Shield. Boom! Take it out! And what's the next play? I got seven mana. Um, Mystic, maybe. <laughs> this is when the Venture Co. starts to be kind of shitty. Because as though he's gotten, he's got a big thing on the board. Uh, he's also kind of stymieing everything else I've got. I could recombobulator it to something else. So I throw down five, that means I have two mana remaining, which means I could play Hero Power, which probably isn't worth it. I mean, plus two plus one, and spell damage plus one. Ooh, that's an interesting card. He's, oh, he's going to take it out. <laughs> go for the face. Trade with the... Oh, he's going to go double for the... Hmm. <clears throat> huh, that's an interesting combo. He must have something in his hand that he feels pretty strong about. Hmm, well I could definitely change this to that, which would mean that it's... Yeah, I can take it out. That doesn't leave me. It's actually pretty scary, he deal dealt a lot of damage that one turn. I do have board control and card control, but I'm within like kind of striking distance now. If he's got any kind of good removal or a good direct damage, probably not. But uh, it could be pretty devastating. Okay, what's my next turn? Um, I've got eight mana, so I could do a bunch of stuff really. All right, good. I can finally trade into that. <laughs> Ooh, whenever your friendly minions dies, give another friendly minion. Oh, good. I could trade that. It'll die. Oh wait, this oh, secrets have to happen in the opponent opposing turn. That's okay. Um, definitely trade into this because I don't want to have that anymore. What else could I do? Um, I could blessing of kings this. Silver Moon Guardian, say perhaps. Yeah. Blessing of Kings, this. Take out this thing. Lightwell can get kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'm in a tough spot. I'm not super close to dying. So I feel like this might go pretty well. Pardon me? Oh, I want to have this when somebody throws down a secret, because you know how much I hate secrets. <laughs> Your magic shall Silence a minion. No, oh, curse you. Huh, okay. What could I do here? I could trade that into that. Hmm. 
what are my options here? I could trade that into that. Give this guy... I feel like I kind of have to lose the Elder Peacekeeper no matter what. So how do I get the most out of it? Um, I'm thinking I could trade that into that. Shattered Sun Cleric, make this a 4-4, go into that. Will you make this a 1-1, lose this Divine Shield? Yeah, I feel like that's probably a good option. This makes it not scary for anything. I still have some board. Now what do I do with the remaining mana? I could Kazan Mystic, Reinforce, Avenge, maybe Salty Dog Avenge. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. This is uh, interesting, 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 interesting. I'm tempted to recombobulate the Salty Dog. Maybe maybe this is kind of what you, what you should do. Maybe you attack. In the light's name. Huh. Well, I can definitely trade into that. They attack, then recombobulate. So it loses some life, it loses a couple other things. Yeah, I feel okay with that. Goes for the face. This is scary. I do need to be smart about this. <clears throat> In fact, I think I might be dead. No, I'm not necessarily dead, but I do need to... I need to keep this guy alive. Well, I can't kill it, so I need to do that. Huh. Um, I guess Squire. I need to put the strongest board on I can. Kazan Mystic. This is scary. This is real scary. Within four life. Ooh, battery fully charged in my phone. Strangle throwing. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so lucky. No, that's not gonna do it. Remember, kills are lost to battle. Uh, if you insist. Let's make him feel it. <laughs> Come on, give me something with um Oh, you know what would be interesting if I Oh, I could have tried to recombobulate something into a, um, something with taunt. What's four? What was this? This is five. Yeah, you've already won, buddy. Why are you healing? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I feel like it was off to such a good start, too. <laughs> I feel like I played that well. That's what's so upsetting about when I lose these games. Because when I feel like I play well, but I lose anyway. Fine. Whatever. As was said yesterday, as long as you're having fun, right? And I am. I'm having a very good time. Well, I'm, this is my seventh episode, right? So, yeah, yeah, I'd have to say I'm, I'm doing well. I'm enjoying myself. <sighs> All right, I did. Right, I am not happy with this hand to begin with. Micro machine is interesting. Should I keep the Avenge True Silver Champion? Eh, maybe not. We'll keep the micro machine though. Let's throw it out turn one. See what it gets to. <laughs> turn two, it can uh, hero power. Well Greetings. Good. Unless I get uh, or that. That works too. Micro Machine! <clears throat> Is it the start? Yeah, start of each turn. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's the start or end, if it's each turn. Because if it's the end of mine, then it gains plus one. And then next turn. I guess it kind of does. No, no, I don't think it does. <laughs> All right, well, might as well trade into this. Nothing else to do. <laughs> Whoosh. 
Nice. Oh, I've discovered what this is for, by the way. If you hit that... Yes, it did! It takes off! Alright, Blessing of Kings is not is of no use to me right now. So I'm gonna buff that guy and just go to the face. <clears throat> Hopefully he kind of botches it somehow. I mean, it's not a big deal either way, but... Actually, he kind of is. If he doesn't take out both minions... Well, he can't. Well, based on what's on the board, he can't. Like Blessing of Kings, take it out. That's a pretty good 4-drop. Ooh, what's he gonna be? Wrath? Is he really gonna do it? Is he gonna take my Novice Engineer out? Gain an empty mana crystal, and then face it? Wait, face... yeah. Alright. Very cool. Blessing of Kings? Yeah, Blessing of Kings. Aw oh, yeah, my Novice Engineer is something basely to look at. Boom! Next turn, Salty Dog, maybe? Venture Co. Silverhand Knight? I got a 6 drop, so probably not the Venture Co. Silverhand Knight, probably. Although... <laughs> oh man, I can just... Taunt... He's mini with Death Rattle. I can just trade into that. That's interesting on his part. I almost kind of want to keep it alive. Is that pointless, though? No. Or, yes, it would be. Because <laughs> I'm thinking it might stymie him. But yeah, probably not. Plus 10 health and taunt. God, that's an annoying card. Um... Yeah, I'll throw this down. Nothing really else to do. Next turn I can face face, take it out. It's unfortunate, but what else am I going to do? Although I could also... Lord of the Arena, True Silver Champion, which would probably be the better play. Yeah. Of course it depends on what he's got now. Is he looking at my guy? What if I can bring this back? The rocket. This is gone forever now. Still feel like this should be able to get taken off or something like that. Can I like open this up enough that it um lights these things on fire? Yes, it is! <gasps> Oh, flating that off, flating that off. Oh, there's still one more to go. Come on. I don't think it's gonna work. It'd be funny if this is some kind of like epic raid boss. Oh, it did work! Ha! <laughs> it's a simultaneous fusing. Oh, okay. Okay, this board's better than I thought. Did he not do anything on his turn? He didn't. <laughs> Alright, is there anything I could do with this? Not really. Yeah, true silver champion. Go for the face! And... I probably should have thrown down a flesh eating ghoul first if I really wanted to. Yeah, but I do. I do. Yeah, is he like lagging out or something like that? Because he didn't do anything. This might be a... Oh no! I hate it when this happens! The game bugs out! And it, it always happens with me! Like, it makes the opposing player do it, where they kind of just don't have a turn. It immediately starts counting down, and it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to just, like, forfeit the game. Because, you know, I, I still want to win, right? <laughs> but... Oh man, I hate it when this happens. Cause, yeah, I don't want to just like forfeit the game, because that's unfortunate. It's not my fault, but oh, I'm sorry, Denton. I don't. It always happens. It never happens to me. It always happens to the other player. It's funny. I've went online to like the forums, and people are like, "Oh, I got attacked by a hacker who's doing all this kind of stuff." I'm like, "No, it's not necessarily a hacker, right?" Like. <sighs> Something in boot would help. I'm sorry, mate. Ah, 
<sighs> I don't feel good about that victory. I mean, I, I kind of do, because it's a victory, but... <sighs> Level 10. Busting of Kings. Hey, got another gold. Oh, nice. Nice. I won't have to pay for the next arena. <laughs> ah, it's still unfortunate, though. I don't know why it happens. <laughs> that was a itchy. Well, all you can do is move forward. All you can do is move forward. My nose is very dry. The unfortunate part of living in Canada. <laughs> Alright, I got a 3 drop, I got a 5 drop. I don't really like the 3 drop, but I'll keep it anyway. <laughs> Especially against the Warlock, actually. What do you think? Micro Machine? I think Micro Machine. Greetings. Zombie Chow. Little Exorcist. Okay. Um, do Warlock have a lot of Death Rattle minions? Probably a Haunted Creeper. Micro machine. Nice. And yeah, I think that's about right. No, I think it's a bit to the right. No, perfect, dead on. How a very goblins and know me thing. All right. Um, I can take this out. Should I? Okay, what can I do? I can take this out, that will make a 2-1, which I can then Iron Forge Rifleman down. Yeah, that's probably the best play. <laughs> You're not going to find many other good uses for an Iron Forge Rifleman, so I might as well do it. <laughs> Alright, next turn, maybe a little Exorcist Zombie Chow? Maybe? And then turn after that, Azure Drake? Yeah, I feel good about that. Get the little taunt. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel good about this. Next turn, Azure Drake. Pretty good 5 drop. Good old draw card. Spell damage is, I think, entirely pointless. That was a mistake. How was that a mistake? Doesn't really look like a mistake. <laughs> Ooh, I could blessing its kings and have something survive. No, Azure Drake's probably the better option here. True Civil Champion would have been a good option too. Alright. Perfect. Feel pretty good. So next turn I'll have six mana, which means I could do either one of these plus a haunted creeper or uh, reinforce. Zombie Chow. I think. Yeah, definitely true silver champion. Go to the face. Haunted creeper. It's probably not gonna have much more value later over a reinforce. Yeah. I know I'm probably doing that wrong. And that I should probably reinforce every chance I can get. Probably starting next turn. Although I have seven mana, so I could do this. Or actually any combination of these. I'm kind of tempted to have a blessing of kings. -d. Zombie Chow. Alright, that would make it a 6-7. Oh, I could definitely take this out. Face that, go to it. And then, yeah, Blessing of Kings. Yeah, I like that play. Okay, I definitely should have thrown down the Flesh Eating Ghoul. I never think to do that. Alright, um, yeah, Flesh Eating Ghoul, first turn would have been a good idea. Uh, let me, we must the sun well. I don't know, do that. Kind of spread the damage out a bit. <laughs> I feel like Zombie Chow is a pretty easy target right now, so. Yeah. See? If I put it on that, it would have been wasted. Alright, 
What's my next card? Guardian of Kings. Should I do that? Yeah, probably. And then what should I do? Trade into that and then that into the remainder? Probably. And my good old two toed spider can uh, have some fun. Hmm. I definitely like having the Dagrian Dwarf. Man, I wish I would have thrown that down before. <laughs> it could have got so much value out of it. Oh well. Things are dying left, right, and center. All over the place. I know it's not the first time I've ever botched a flesh eating ghoul, too. Because in my head, it's just 3 for a 2 3 with like a slight upside. Uh, but that's not necessarily always the case. Ooh. What's my next card? All minions with death rattle. Oh, perfect. Alright, I give this guy um, the Dark Iron Dwarf. That kills that. I throw this down, which deals two damage to this, which I can then face into that. Oh, perfect. Nice. I gotta be careful. I didn't even consider that if I had anything myself. Ooh, Avenge would have been nice to throw down as well. Because um, it deals damage to all minions with Death Rattle. I don't, I'm not really carrying many things with Death Rattle, but, you know, that is kind of scary. Ooh, 6-6. Six, six. Ooh, okay. I should probably try and reduce the board. Okay, I'm going to throw... Okay, what do I have? 10 mana, so I could do... Four and nine, okay. Yeah, whenever a minion dies, I'm gonna throw that out. What should I do here? What should I try and bomb lobber? I should probably kinda of take these two out. What could I do here? Yeah, I could take these two. Yeah, I'll trade into that. Should I try and do into that? I guess there's no real point, is there? I'll trade that into that. I'll take that out. It's probably kind of pointless, but if I do this, and then avenge. All right, so now he's gonna he's gonna make a choice. He's got something to trade against. Probably my flesh-eating ghoul. <laughs> Hope he doesn't have a hellfire in his hand. That would be unfortunate for me. Your magic shall not Silence the minion. Okay. Nice. What's it gonna go on? <gasps> okay. That's probably actually. I think that would be the best option. What's it gonna be? Must the sun well. Oh, curse you! It's no big deal. No big deal. I kind of want to hold on to... hold on. Should I hold on to it? Okay, so I can trade this into that. That into that. I'm kind of scared about a uh, Hellfire now. Although that wouldn't kill the main thing. The main Silver Hand Knight. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Especially because he might not have it. It's not the most common card in Arena, from what I can tell. You might get one per deck. Oh, you could get like five per deck if you <laughs> are lucky slash unlucky, but um, yeah. Ooh. Nice, well played. Okay, two victories. <laughs> I beat yesterday. Not that that's uh, super exciting to do. <laughs> oh, if I could win this, five games. Yeah. Feel pretty good. I feel like after this game I should get up and walk around, get more water. <clears throat> I 
I do feel like I'm learning in this game. That's one thing I, I'm really hoping to do. Um, obviously, there's going to be mistakes along the way. And Lord knows there's been a lot of mistakes. I think I'm going to keep everything but the Guardian of Kings, actually. Yeah. 234. 1234. Although Avenge not really the best uh, one drop. Greetings. I think Coin Micro Machine. Oh, there's a nice five, too. Yeah, I swear I've never had a coin that lasted past turn three. <laughs> it just doesn't happen for me. Especially in Arena, where I feel like it's so important to get out to a good start. Oh, backstab. Curse you! Hmm. I guess that uses up my turn. All right, Silverhand Recruit, do what you can do. Uh oh, this guy's got a pretty decent board straight off the start. Um, once I can drop my champion, that'll be okay. Um, let's see, a little Exorcist that doesn't kill any of those things. There's no battle. No, I can attempted to avenge. Trigger that. Yeah, that way next turn I can maybe have something going on. <sighs> Hopefully he daggers into one of these things. That'd be really nice. I feel like that's a play I would make. <laughs> so, yeah. I play very few secrets, so I kind of enjoy whenever I see someone kind of playing around a secret. Oh, is he going to dagger into it? Please do! Do it! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, I've got a worthy 4 drop. You're, you're going to regret not hitting me with things. <laughs> What's my five drop? Salty Dog? Or the Bomb Lobber? Depending on what I have. They're making heat throws down. Right now I could True Silver Champion that and then Bomb Lobber, bomb lobber whatever he throws down. Although, Little Exorcist. That's a pretty interesting card, actually. I kind of like the Little Exorcist. Because it, it could gain value later on. Hmm. Could I do? Okay, this is going to deal two damage to all characters. If I throw this down, so that's going to hurt. I feel like I just need to True Silver Champion it down. And then what else could I do? That'll make kill these things. Make that. Is it worth throwing that down beforehand? Probably not. Yeah, I got to do it. There's no other options here. Everything else hurts too much. Um, should I bomb lobber down now? It seems kind of pointless to do that. Um, what are my other options? I could throw down the little exorcist. Doesn't get much value out of what its potential value is, but I could do that. And then reinforce. Yeah. I always like having two minions on the board so my avenge can uh, trigger. And I can have a good time. <laughs> Besides, I always feel like rogues can get rid of one minion really easily. Ooh. Taunt to Divine Shield. Uh, do I do I bomb lobber down? Although, what would that really give me? Could I take it out? I could if it hits it. If it doesn't, then I'm kind of buggered. Actually, no, I couldn't. I was thinking I could dark iron dwarf something, but that doesn't really help either. Um, I think I might just Eldor Peacekeeper. Yeah. I'll Eldor Peacekeeper and then throw down the Flesh Eating Ghoul. There we go. Now that's not very threatening. I've got a pretty decent scary board. Yep. 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 I feel good. Whenever one of your friendly minions dies. Okay, it just dies. I was wondering if it has to be like via minion or anything like that, but no. Just dies. Dies, dies, dies. Alright, Sludge Belcher. 
I can deal with that. I can deal with this ledge belcher. You don't have a mech. Oh, he doesn't attack. Curses. This is gonna go... <laughs> We're just setting up board right now. Should I go into it? I have the flesh-eating ghoul. Okay, hold on. How can I do this? I could one... Then two, three. That would kill this thing. Make that a three, three. Which I could then dark iron dwarf. Because it would be five, three into that. Yeah. I feel good about that. And then... Zombie Chow Reinforce or Divine Shield or Crusader. Hmm. I feel like Zombie Chow Reinforce. Because <laughs> I feel like Crusader can be useful at any point, whereas the Zombie Chow, maybe not so much. <laughs> Still waiting for that Avenge to go off. Summon a random two-cost minion. Interesting. Alright. This is a... I like this. This is a scrappy fight, you know? <laughs> ah, what's it gonna go off on? Ooh, that's scary. He didn't plan for that either. <laughs> I do have every everything on the board can kill his taunts, and I can taunt and smash into that. Unless he's just gonna go straight for it. He takes two minions out to take it out. I'm happy with that. I don't know why he did that. It was kind of a waste of a uh, cog master. Although I guess I can't take out his taunts right now. Unless I bomb lob or something. Uh, so I guess I could trade that into that, that into that. Bomb Lobber, and then Dark Iron Dwarf, whatever comes out. Yep, I'll take that. What's it gonna be? Oh, that does take it out. Crap. That's upsetting. Go for the face then. Make him deal with it. Ooh, Matter Bomber! No! Don't take it out! It did! Curses! That was a well played. That was nicely done. Alright, what's my next play? Guardian of Kings. Oh, I thought he did it to me! I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Nice. It's a good play. That was, that was very fun. Alright. Um, yeah, I feel like Guardian of Kings. Reinforce is probably my best play. Next turn, Salty Dog, Venture Co. That's a pretty hefty one, too. I feel pretty decent about that. Hmm. <laughs> That's his basic one, too. I think mine's marginally stronger, although it just kind of cancels each other out. Death Rattle Creeper, not going to change my mind. Alright. It's a, it's down to a top decking match, largely. I mean, I got my Haunted Creeper. <laughs> that doesn't really help much. I feel like... It's hard to say, actually. I kind of feel like my ability is marginally better. Because I could use it every turn, whereas he can kind of only use his every other turn. Ooh, Fen Creeper. That does change things. <laughs> That's a better turn. <laughs> Never thought I'd like Fen Creeper, or that it would really be all that effective as a card, but uh, it is. <laughs> Time to flood the board. Alright, well I've got the power on the board to kill it. Uh, as long as my Silverhand Knight 
is always active. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise, no. Give a weapon plus three attack. Combo give a random friendly minion plus three attack. He's going for the face? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> what else is he gonna do? That's not... What else am I gonna get? Kazan Mystic. Um, should I kill the creeper? Probably. Although if he has a fan of knives, it might be unfortunate. All right, I might go for three wins. Hey. Ooh, Boulder Fist Ogre. All right, what do I have on the board? Enough to kill him. Well played. Yes, three wins. Three and one. Right, three and one, right? Or is it three and two? Three and one. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Get this merry road started. Merry road started. I don't think that's a phrase. <laughs> but we're feeling pretty good. We're three and one. I think I'm. I feel pretty confident about this deck. It uh, I feel like it top decks pretty well. <laughs> Got some good options. I wish I had kind of had a um, consecrate at some point, but what are you gonna do? Holy Kotex. <laughs> Ooh, that is not a card or hand I want to keep in any way. <laughs> Boom. Give me something good. Give me something good. Um, that's, I guess, marginally better. Not super happy about it, though. Greetings. You either have a player or you don't. Oh, my God. Yep. This might be a, a bad game. <clears throat> you armor up, I reinforce. Oh, there we go. There's a card I could use. Um, although next turn I might want to coin Divine Shield. No, probably not. What could I do? I could coin... Yeah, because I do have some... I do have a good 4 and 5 drop. So what I'm thinking right now... Coin, Novice Engineer, Reinforce. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a weird play, but I'm okay with it. Next turn, Silver Moon Guardian. Next turn, turn up to that. Uh, one of these two. Then go to the face. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so third on this, which means he's gonna he's gonna do something about it. He's gonna lose one of these things, likely at least. Then next turn, probably silver hand. Eh, maybe not. All my would be pretty good too. Depends what kind of minions he's got out. Which you'll probably have a couple. I deal four damage to any. If it's any of these things that I hit for four damage, I'd be okay with that. I mean, it'd be the best value ever, but I'm okay with it. Whenever you gain minion armor, give this minion plus one attack. That's a really good card. Five. For, that's a really good card. Holy shit. Um. 
Yeah, I feel like I need to change my strategy there. Um, probably still the Silver Hand Knight, and then next turn we'll see what comes up. And then hopefully the turn after that, maybe I get Elder or Peacekeeper or something. But this gives me two things on the board, which means he's got to think about two things. He could trade them, but then that weakens this quite a lot. It's not the best play, but it's the play we need. And if he chooses to keep anything alive, I could definitely Blessing of Might anything to go into that. Ooh, slam. Ooh, he might do that. Damn it. Never mind. <laughs> Crap ass. Is the game one? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, I feel like Crusader's probably, maybe Crusader a little exorcist, that way he's gotta kinda deal with both. Yeah. Gotta do something about that. Cause that's a scary siege engine. This way he's got the little shield. He's gotta deal three sources of damage to wipe my board, which he only on, he only has two of right now. On the board, at least. Yeah, that's a pretty decent card. I guess 5 for 5. It's a mech, too. That's interesting, too. I guess 5 for 5 5. The ability's not that great. If you had, like, an armor smith, things could get out of hand real quick, but. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad, actually. It's a class card, and they're supposed to be pretty damn strong. Keeps pawing at that one. Oh, you bitch. I should have just blessing of might it. I guess I didn't have enough mana to. Oh, please don't have anything else. Okay, I'm okay with that. Alright, so what else should I do? So that's one mana, so I've got six to play around with. Um. Yeah, I feel like maybe just a flesh-eating ghoul. Uh, is it worth peacekeeping? No, I can't target that. So yeah, I think I might just throw down a flesh-eating ghoul. Blessing of Might this. Shouted some cleric just to kind of do something. There, it's a 5-4. <laughs> He's got to think about it. Okay. Pretty good hand. Give you here a plus four attack. Crap! Ah, oh, come on. That actually kind of gives me an opening. Never mind. I don't know if he does that. I am not. Hmm. Alright. I could throw this down and it could kill two of the three things, which also gives me a 3 3 on the board. Um, on top of that, that would take five, so if you have three mana left, I could Eldor Peacekeeper, whatever's left. I don't like that play, but let's do it. <laughs> that was an oops. <laughs> um, in that case, I think maybe Haunted Creeper. My life is pretty low, he could bring me down to four, <laughs> but I might have something on the board. Damn it. <laughs> yep, this is not my game. He could wipe two of his minions against mine. I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for the face. But I guess if you don't have the kill, then what's the point, really? It might go all wrong for you. That's the face. Okay, so I can at least... Oh, man. Okay, I could kill this <laughs> with the Dark Iron Dwarf. 
doesn't really save me in any way though, is there? Uh, so I could do four, no, ten. I think I is dead. But we'll do this anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, what should I reduce? I guess this makes the most sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely dead. <laughs> oh well. If he realizes it. Which he probably does. Or not. <laughs> they always do this. You've won. <laughs> it's like they're just showing off, saying like, yeah, I won, but you could have really won. Or you could never have won. Even if you survived this turn, you would have still lost. <laughs> oh well. Alright, 3-2. It's the game. All the marbles. If I can start getting consistent three victories, I'm okay with that. But I don't really like getting any less than three. <laughs> That's, um... I'm not happy about that when that happens, so... Yes, more than three at all times, please. Or three or more. Fluter. Alright, um... Seven. I do have a three, four, five, well, seven. But I feel like I should get rid of those. Flesh eating ghoul could be helpful. Probably not, actually. Probably should get rid of that. Oh, good. I have, an, I have a one drop. I so rarely have a one drop. <laughs> Greetings. Is someone injured? Ah, crap. I wish I would have kept on to that hammer of wrath. Um. I kind of hate throwing this down because then he just heals, hits it, it dies, he gets another card out of it. I'm thinking coining into this, should I just be patient? Coining to this, get a card out. Yeah, I think I'll just be patient. I might throw down the novice engineer next turn. Fairy Dragon. Crap. That's another thing I was scared about, is giving him too much control. Ooh, that is not what I wanted. Um, should I... Flesh Eating Ghoul? Even if I make it to four, throw it on this thing. It dies to the Fairy Dragon. I think I just need to Ghoul. Then mate me. He's gonna trade into that, and then I'll... Things just ain't working out. Things don't feel good right now. I have no confidence in this game. Yeah, he's gonna hit into it. If he knows what's good for him, at least. Oh, no. Alright. Oh, he goes for the face? Not sure about that play. Uh, but at the same time, I can't really punish it. What could I do here? I could three, that doesn't really help anything. Um, two and one, I suppose. Goblin lobber, nice. Take this thing out. Maybe it would have been better to just go to the face and kind of hold on to it. Ah, who knows. I love how both those things are out of reach of my gut bomb lobber. Ugh, I love the word. I love that word. Bomb lobber. Bomb lobber. Bomb lobber. Makes your <laughs> makes your mouth feel weird though. He's gonna heal up, right? Give him minion plus one health. That doesn't help me in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. This is just gonna be an infinite source of cards for him. But it, like, what else could I do? Even this doesn't kill it. I don't feel good. I do not feel good about this. Next turn, if I have something on the board, I could bomb lobber and kill something. <laughs> Regardless of what it is. Of course, unless he throws other stuff down. Which inevitably they do. <laughs> Ooh, 
interesting. And he can't heal it up. Which is an interesting choice. Unless he's got something else. <sighs> you kidding me? He gets a summon of light. I am not having fun. <sighs> Alright, Bomb Lobber kills three of the four targets. Should I do it? What are my other plays? Azure Drake. Yeah, I think I gotta do it. <sighs> of course. Whatever, I'll do it. Not the thing I wanted to kill. He's gonna get more value out of this too. This is so you should have hit that, and then healed up. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Come on. My seal, Port this is another deck that didn't quite pan out. <laughs> three and three, though. Again, I'll be okay with that. Although this does injure it for next turn if he wants to. All right. Um, I could. What could I do? I was thinking I could throw Scarlet Crusader down, Argent Protector, Zombie or Zombie Chow, and Argent Protector the Zombie Chow. Gives me some kind of big board control. I'm not happy with it, but it's the best I got at this point in time. At least he's got to think about it. <laughs> And he's got to deal a good amount of damage to heal my, clear my board. It doesn't feel good, though. It really does not feel good. Of course. Squire, of course. Ready, sir. I could really go for two consecrations at this point. <laughs> Anybody? Two consec? No. Okay. <laughs> right to the face. Yeah, that's not a bad play because he knows I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> I think guy is toast. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, hold on. What are my options here? I could three, four. Uh, sorry, three, four. That down. So that takes three mana, which means I could also put this down into that, which does not kill that. Um, alternatively, I could duo into that, freeze that. I think either way, I'm dead. Yeah. Let's go down with the let's go down with the fight though. <laughs> and you are victorious. Glad. <laughs> well played. Well played. Boom! Thank you for not playing ten cards before you kill me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, three and three. I accept that as an arena. I feel like that's like the baseline I should start at, and then hopefully get up from there. And my prediction was one victory. <laughs> so three is a marked improvement. All right, get some gold. Yay, 30 gold. I'm okay with that. Let's check the deck of cards, see what we get. Boom. Secret Keeper, Circle of Healing, Mogushan, Warden, Defius, Ringleader, Flame Imp. Flame Imp's nice to have. A couple of other cards are pretty nice too. Yeah, all together, all together. I feel good about that. And I got enough gold for the next turn, and I've completed some quests. A. Well, I completed, but got close to. But that will be it for me today, so thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye!